Good evening, people. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. It's good to see you again. How are you? Good evening. <laughs> Hi, Selma. Hello, Francisco. Hi, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> okay, welcome to your English class. I'm going to share with you the class presentation. Today's topic is making future plans, right? And this is our class number 11. Our class 11. Yeah, just tomorrow and the next week and you're finished with this model. Okay. In this session, you will listen to a conversation between people making plans. Future will present continuous and be going to our interviews. So you already know the structure of the present continuous or present progressive, but in this occasion, you will learn how to use it for talking about the future, future plans. Okay. So at the end of the session, you will have learned how to use future with the present continuous and be going to. And that, those are the activities we have, recording previous knowledge, making future plans, practice, and wrap up. So I'm going to begin by taking the program. Let's see who is here connected in the class. Okay, let's start with Ana Marisol Zamora. Not present. Ana Patricia Garcia. Present, teacher. Thank you, Ana. Benjamin Alejandro Quijar. I'm here. <laughs> Thank you, Ben. Brenda Adriana Mende. I'm here, teacher. Thank you, Brenda. Brenda Isabel Castro. Not present yet. Brian Steve Rodas. Present. We barely hear you, Brian. Okay. What? We <laughs> barely could hear you. Okay, Claudia Isel Lopez. I'm here, Miss. Thank you, Claudia. Daniela Magalia Asensio. Not present yet. Edgar Fernando Portillo. Present, Miss. Good evening. Good evening, Edgar. Elisa Reli Lopez. Present, Miss. Thank you, Elisa. Eh, Elsie de, Patricia de Jesús. Martínez de Sánchez. I am here, teacher. Good evening. <laughs> Good evening, Elsie. You have a very long name. <laughs> Francisco Alexander Villafuerte. Present, teacher. Thank you, Francisco. Griselda Lisset Moreno. Okay. Um, Jacqueline Liliana Enrique. Present. Thank you, Jacqueline. Uh, Janet Carolina Rivera. Janet Carolina. Present. Thank you. Jocelyn Natalia Mancia Zamora. Present teacher. Thank you, Jocelyn. Karen Xiomara López. Karina Jasmine Nuila. Present teacher. Thank you, Karina. Carla Melissa Colocho. I'm here. Thank you, Carla. Leslie Natalie Orellana Hernández. Not present. Lucia Elena Cepeda Herrera. Present teacher. Thank you, Lucia. Margarita Vigail Tobía. Present teacher. Thank you, Margarita. Martín Ernesto Estrada. Mayri Yamileda Alvarenga Vázquez. Mayri is not present today. Michelle Beatriz Díaz Guzmán. Present teacher. Okay. Roberto Carlos Cuellar Hernández. I am here, teacher. Roberto Carlos, Roberto Eduardo Escamilla. 
A present teacher. Thank you, Roberto. Selma, ya te presenta. I'm here. Thank you, Victoria Ingrid Leal de Contreras. Present. Thank you, Victoria. Teacher. Ajá. ¿Ya? Brenda Isabel. Es que se me desconectó. En el ratito. Brenda Isabel Castro. Ok. Yeah. Yes. Son varias. Ana Marisol. Daniela Magali. Griselda. Um, Karen Xiomara. I'm here, teacher. Ok. Karen Xiomara. Karen Xiomara López. Eh, Leslie. Martín, Miley. Ok. Thank you so Teacher. much for connecting. Teacher, Griselda, aquí está. Griselda Lizette. Ah, ok. Sí. Aquí estoy. Ok, Griselda. Ok, now. Hmm. Eh, permítame. Ok. Y Lucía Elena, así ah, está. Ok. <laughs> Thank you so much. Ok, for connecting on time, people. Now, let's start with the recalling previous knowledge or previous class. The last class on Tuesday, we were learning how questions. So, we're going to practice a little bit about that, the exercises that we couldn't do on on Tuesday. So we have here some questions. With how? Okay, so I'm gonna call some people and you will answer the questions. Any volunteer? Volunteers or V? NC, okay. Hi, teacher. Is the first volunteer. Okay, okay. let's see. Let's see the question. I'm going to spin the wheel and you will answer the question. And your question is How far is your house from your work? Um, it's three blocks. Far. Okay, only three blocks forward. Wow, you, you were very close to your house. <laughs> yes, teacher. <laughs> okay, Elsie, choose the next victim. Excuse me, teacher. Choose the next volunteer. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Um, Benjamin. Benjamin, you were the first one. And the question for you is, how deep is your love back for your family? Um, I think it's deeper. Okay, getting deeper. Deeper than, than some gear ago. Yeah. Okay, that's great. <laughs> Thank you, Benjamin. Who is the next victim, Benjamin? Brian Steve. Brian Steve. Okay, Brian Steve. The question for you is. Ah, okay. The question says, how long does it take you to go to work at Solway? But we don't have Solways in El Salvador. So I would say, how long does it take you to go to work by bus? How long? Uh, about one. One hour. And bus. Two hours. Two or one. We we cannot hear you well. Can you repeat? I, please? I think he said one hour and bus in bus. One hour by bus. Okay, and what do you live, Brian? Brian, where do you live?
Ah, okay, Brian has problems with the internet. Okay. We just want to know, maybe in the chat you can say who is the next person, the next, the next victim. <laughs> Who is the next victim, Brian? And the next victim is Elsie Patricia. Okay, Elsie. Ah, but she was the first participant. Ella fue la primera que participó. She was the first participant. So it has to be another person. She can repeat it. <laughs> no, we, I want more people to participate. Can participate. <laughs> Francisco, okay, Francisco. You see, he's a volunteer. Great, Francisco. The question for you is, how big is your house? Oh, my house is no... No big, bigger uh, is the house medium. Uh, we have a three room um, uh, uh, in uh, uh, sala. Uh, living room? Uh, one living room, one kitchen, only that. How many bathrooms? Uh, how many bathrooms? Too many bathrooms. Two bathrooms. Two bathrooms. Two bathrooms. Two bathrooms. Don't you think it's not that small? Yeah, three rooms. Uh, Do you I have a garden? Yeah, I have a garden. Uh, uh, yes. And a garage. Garden. Yes, two big spots no have uh, construction hour, uh, out, only uh, parking for cars. Okay, so I would I, say it's a big house. Is I think it's medium. <laughs> <laughs> medium size, okay. Medium size, yes. Thank you, Francisco. Who will be the next person, Francisco? The next person, okay. Um, uh, Claudia Giselle Lopez. Claudia Giselle Lopez. How long does it take you to go to work by car? <clears throat> yes, Claudia. How long does it take you to go to work by car? Claudia, I said. I know how a car feature is a bus and long is a two, two, two hours. Two hours. Two hours. Um, is that okay? So you don't have a car, you go to work by bus, and it takes you two hours. Wow, that's a lot. Thank you, Sal, for your participation. The next person is that. You say, who is the next person, Claudia? I will choose Lucia. Lucia, yes. how my city is um, Sonsonate. Thank you, Claudia. Now the question is for Lucia. You are welcome, teacher. Uh, don't worry. Lucy Elena, how cold is your city? Uh, I live in Chalchuapa City. It's, it's medium cold. It's not hot. It's medium cold. Okay, I would say it's fresh. Yes. Okay, yes. great. Great, Lucy. Are you going to choose a person? Uh, Michelle? Michelle Beatriz, the good one. Oh, Michelle, this is interesting. How long is your hair? Uh, I think it is a medium height. 
medium height. Well, is it, I don't know, like 30 centimeters, 50 centimeters, one meter? How long is it? <laughs> uh, I don't know. <laughs> but it looks very long. <laughs> but mm, not really. Not really? No. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Michelle. And the last person, Michelle? Okay. Who's going to be the last person? The no. last participant? Uh, Miley? Miley. Me Miley, sorry. It's Miley, right? Is Miley. How okay. high is your wardrobe or your closet? Um, my closet is medium because it has two comp compartimentos. Oh, two cabinets. Two cabinets. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Okay, so it's like. One meter and fifty centimeters. I don't know. I, I think I think it's two meters. Two meters high. Two meters high. Okay, very nice. Remember that with these questions, guys, we have to use a measurements, right? Meters, kilometers, or blocks or temperatures, okay? As we learned in the previous class. Okay, uh, we have other one. Uh, you will see the picture and you have to tell me what is the question. How hot, how cold, how high, how far, how long, how full, etc. For example, if I flip this one, distance. Distance, what is the, the, the question? How long? Distance? How long? Oh. How far? Okay, how far? I try. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now about this, look at the Eiffel Tower. What do you think is the question? How high? Let's see. Okay, yeah, it could be how high or how tall. Okay. Yeah, we can use for buildings and for people. How tall or how high? Okay, what about the mountain? How? How high? How high? Let's see. Oh, how high? Yes. Like the, the like the sound that is a song. That's one of my favorites. In a mountain high, in a valley low, in a river wide enough, baby. Okay, what yeah, about here? Yeah. Oh, oh, how hot. How hot? It looks like a desert, right? Yeah, it's correct. How hot is the desert? Okay, we have now a valley. This is a valley. How deep? Next flip. Yeah, how deep, like this song. How deep is your love from the BGs, right? <laughs> Very great. And okay, we have here the Pentagon in New York, the United States. How big? How big? How big? How big? How big? Let's see. Oh. Yes, it's correct. It's correct, guys. The correct one. And I think we we have or oh, no, no more. Ah, oh, yeah, we have two. Two more. How tall? How tall? How tall? Yes, that's correct. How tall? And finally, oh. how cold? How cold? How cold? How cold? Okay, very nice. 
great people. Okay, in this moment, Elsie, I would like to know how hot is Javier in this moment? Yes, teacher. How hot is San Miguel in this moment? Um, uh, repeat, please. How hot? What is the temperature? How hot? Is uh, it's hot right now. now. It's hot now. Hot, hot. Yeah, the, the degree. 30 degrees, 31 degrees, 27 degrees. And... Uh, 27 degrees. 27 degrees. See, yes. Degrees. Okay, it's a little bit hot. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's terrible. It's terrible. I would like to ask Benjamin, how tall are you, Benjamin? Okay, this now there, Benjamin Alejandro. Okay, we ask Roberto Carlos. How tall are you, Roberto? Um, I am uh, one middle. Yeah. Seven to seven. Seven to seven. Okay, so you are tall. Yeah. I am one meter sixty-two. So you are 15 centimeters taller than Okay, I can see that you can handle this topic, guys. Congratulations. So let's continue. Today we are going to learn about the um, well, the first topic is how to declare invitation for languages. For your information, more vocabulary for you. For the, um, when somebody invites you, for example, to the beach, to the movie theater, to the park, etc., maybe you don't want to go, you don't want to go, right? Or maybe you don't have money, or maybe you don't have time, or maybe you don't like that place. So how can you refuse the invitation? Or how can you decline the invitation politely in a polite way? Instead of saying, no, I don't want to go. That would be very rude. You can use other expressions. Okay, I'm going to read for you. A friend has invited you to go out, but you can't make it. Follow and advice and learn how you can decline an invitation politely and keep your friend. To thank you, your friend, you can say, thanks so much for asking me. It sounds like a lot of fun. Thanks so much for the invite. So you can say that. You can say, thanks so much for asking me. It sounds like a lot of fun. Thanks so much for the invite. So you are saying, yes, I am going. I am going with you. Thank you for inviting me. Now, to apologize and explain why you can't accept, you can say, sorry, but I already have plans. Or sorry, but I have something else going on that day. I'm so sorry, but I can't make it. I'm really busy this day. So can you please repeat after me? Sorry, but I already have plans. Sorry, but I have something else going on that day. Sorry, Sorry but I have, I have, I have something else going on, on that day. day. I'm so sorry, but I can't make it. I'm really busy this day. No um, so sorry. 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 I'm so sorry, but I can't make it. I'm really busy these days. 
I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry but I can't make it. And really, really best. 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 Best.
sentences with the present continuous. Number one. What are you doing tonight? What are you doing? Oh, sorry. What are you doing tonight? Okay, I'm going to have. Uh -huh. I'm going to have dinner with my parents. With my parents. Are you doing are you anything, doing anything, anything tomorrow? tomorrow? So as you notice, it's again the present continuous plus a future expression or a time expression. What are you doing tonight? tonight. Uh -huh. That is the difference. Tonight? In the present, when you are using for saying what you are doing in the moment, you use at the moment, right now. But in this case, we are using expressions for the future. Tomorrow, tonight, right? Mm -hmm. The coming week, the coming weekend, next Friday, next Saturday, okay? So you have to use that time expression to uh, express future. Okay, so let's look at the grammar focus. So we use, we can, we can talk about the future with present continuous and be going to, remember what is it, the structure of the present continuous? The ing form. Exactly, the verb to be plus the ing form. Uh, I want, give me a moment, guys. I want to do something. <laughs> Zoom is crazy. Okay. Now. Okay, over here, I will write the structures. The structure for the present continuous or present progressive. Con... Okay, present continuous. We have subject plus the verb to be. What are the three forms of the verb to be? Um, um, is, um, is, is, and are. are. Right. Plus the verb in the ing form, plus future time expression. That, that is the structure. Subject, verb to be, verb in the ing, future time expression. For example, what are you doing tonight? I am taking English class, my English class. Okay. It's the best teacher. <laughs> Thank you. You are, you are having dinner, right? You are having dinner after class. Um, he is um, reading a story to his baby before going to bed. <laughs> yes. Uh, she is watching the news uh, yeah, after class, to be. Okay, we are We are going to participate in this class. Okay, so future. I'm take, what are you doing tonight? I'm taking my English class tonight. Um, you are having dinner after class. He's reading a story to his baby before going to bed. She's watching the news after class. We are going to participate in this class. So 
B, they have future meaning. We have more examples here in the chart with present continuous. What are you doing tonight? I'm going to a party. Are you doing anything tomorrow? No, I'm not doing anything. Or no, I'm not. Why? Oh, maybe we can go for a, um, I don't know, maybe we can go for pizza, right? So we can express the future with present continuous. When you have a plan, you have an arrangement. You, you are sure that you are doing these activities, okay? But you can also express future with be going to plus the verb. What is she going to do tomorrow? She's going to see a play. Are they going to see the photo exhibit? Yes, they are. Or yes, they are going to see. So we'd be going to, what is the structure? What is the structure we'd be going to? The same subject plus where to be, which um, is or are depending on the subject, plus going to, plus the verb in the base form. And the time expression. For example, what are you, tell me, what are you doing this week? What are you going to do this weekend? What are your plans for the weekend? What are you going to do this weekend? I'm gonna drink. <laughs> what are you going to do? Because I really need to forget my ex-boyfriend. Okay, Ben is going to go for some drinks. Okay, Benjamin, you're very sincere. <laughs> That's really laughing, right? Okay. Uh, okay, any other person has other plans? I'm going to see my parents. Okay, who said I'm going to see my parents? Who? Martin. Hi. Francisco. Martin. Yes. Oh, I, I, I erased Ben's. Okay, it was an accident. Okay, Francisco. <laughs> Francisco. Is... Martin is Martin dijo. Oh, Martin, Martin. Okay, Martin is going to visit. Like what happened to visit his parents? Martin is going to visit his parents. Okay. El Elisa Areli. Elisa, what are you doing this weekend? What are you going to do this weekend? Uh, going to work. Oh, okay, Elisa, I'm so sorry for you. Okay, Elisa is going to work. Roberto Carlos, what are you going to do this weekend? Maybe I go um, in, I go in the beach. Oh, okay. So I'm going to the beach. Okay, I'm going to the beach. Yeah. Um, okay, Ana Marisol. Nice. Ana Marisol, what are, what are your plans for the weekend? Is the rivers on my cousin? Uh, let me see if I understand. You are going to go to a river with your cousin. Yeah. Okay. Eh, no sé si así se dice río. Yes, Anna is going uh -huh. to go to a river with her cousin. Can I go with you? 
Can I go with you? I love rivers. Yes, <laughs> I love rivers. <laughs> One of my plans is I'm going to cook uh, tacos for my friend on Saturday night. Okay, on Saturday night. I'm going to cook tacos for my friends on Saturday night. So as you notice, both are for present, for, sorry, sorry, the, both are for future, future plans, future arrangements, future. So we can use time expressions like tonight, tomorrow, on Friday, this weekend, next week. Because we make a specific plans, right? For tonight, tomorrow, Friday, this weekend, next week, on Monday, on Tuesday, etc. These are plans. You are sure you are going to do this. Okay. So far, so good. Yes, teacher. Excellent. And yes. yeah. Okay. In the next uh, exercises, you have to complete the invitations with the present continuous use as future. Elfie. Teacher, I have a question. Es, eh, fíjese que nosotros siempre nos han dado como el porcentaje de la asistencia que, que llevamos a ver si vamos bien o, o no sé si usted la han autorizado para darnos el porcentaje de asistencia. Um, well, I have, I have the list where I uh, take the attendance every class. Um, let me, let me ask Flor if, if I can do it for you. Okay, so okay. If I can tell you. <laughs> okay, uh, I hope I don't forget it. So let's complete the invitations. What will be here the uh -huh. What are you doing? What are you doing? Exactly. What are you uh, are you doing? Doing tonight. What are you doing tonight? Would you like to go out? Okay, so that is the invitation. What are you doing tonight? Would you like to go out? Number two. Are you doing? Are you doing? Exactly. In questions, remember that in questions, the verb to be goes at the beginning. We, we move, right? We change the verb to be to the beginning and the subject to the second place. So, are you doing anything on Friday night? Do you want to see a movie? Number three. We are having, we are having, uh, having friends over for barbecue on Sunday. Would you and your parents like to come? Exactly. We are having a barbecue on Sunday. Okay, number four. Are you staying? Exactly. Are you staying? Are you staying in town next weekend? Do you want to go for the hike? Yes, I would love to. Okay, now in the part B, Let's complete. Mm -hmm. I going. Yeah. Uh -huh. going. Okay, I am going to be right. I am going to be. Okay. I'm going to be. I'm going to be here on Saturday, but not Sunday. Let's try to go on Saturday. Well, no, letter B. Well, my father. Going to visit. Is going to visit. Okay, my father is going to visit my brother visit at college. My, 
about my mother and I. Ang I am going, going to be. Are going to be. Are going, going to be home. So I can't. With uh, love to come. Sorry, I can't. I can I going to work. Going to work. Uh -huh. I'm going to work late tonight. How about tomorrow night? Can we go to a late show? I I going to stay. I going to stay. Okay, I'm going to stay at the office until seven. So now we have to match the invitation with the response. What are you doing tonight? Would you like to go out? What is the correct answer? We have the questions in one column and the answers in the other column. So we have here the questions and we have here the answers. Yeah. Or responses. What is the best one for number one? What are you doing tonight? Would you like to go out? Letter. Letter? Excuse me? Letters, letters. Very good, Brian. Sorry, I can't. I'm going to work late tonight. Letters. How about tomorrow night? Number two, are you doing anything on Friday night? Do you want to see a movie? D. D. Mm. A. X letter. Yeah. Which one, guys? Yeah. Letter D, exactly. Are you doing anything on Friday night? Do you want to see a movie? Yeah. He says, can we go to a late show? It's like, yes, but. Can we go to a late show? I'm going to say at the office till seven, okay? And number three, we are having friends over for the barbecue on Sunday. Would you and your parents like to come? B, letter B. Well, my father is going to visit my brother at college, but my mother and I are going to We'll love to come. Number four, are you staying in town next weekend? Do you want to go for a hike? Letter A. Letter A. Um, going to be here on Saturday, but not Sunday. Let's try to go on Saturday. Very good. Very good. Okay. Nice. Okay, more vocabulary, guys. Free time activities and events. Complete the chart with words and phrases from the list. Then add one more example to each category. So a sports and game, we have road concert, a soccer game, birthday party, a barbecue, a film festival, a class reunion, a wedding, a musical, a car race, a hip hop dance performance, a video game tournament, yes. a baseball game. Sports and games. A soccer, soccer game. game. Soccer game. And baseball game. Excuse me. A, 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 a. Okay, a soccer game. What else? A baseball game. Baseball. Baseball. 
Okay. And video game. A video game. Video games. Video game. Tour. Video games. Okay. Sure. And a car race. A car race. A car race. A car race. Friends and family. A birthday party. A barbecue. Do you like barbecue? Yes. A wedding. A wedding. Do you like wedding? Birthday party. No. A birthday party, a baby shower, etc. What else? Friends and family, we are missing one. Mm. A rock concert? No. Okay. Friends and family. Baseball game? No, that is a sport. A class reunion. A class reunion. Reunion. A class reunion. Yeah, it's when you want to see your, your classmates from the school or high school to make, or the university. Or from the course pre-intermediate pre, right? <laughs> okay, art and performing. A rock concert. A rock concert. Ah, you, you are very excited about that. <laughs> a rock concert. <laughs> what else? A film festival. A film festival. A musical. A musical. A musical. A musical. Baseball game. Hip hop dance for months. Okay. Very nice. So free time activities and events. There were there new words for you? New words for you, new expressions? Yes. Tor tournament, uh, a video game tournament. ¿Qué es tournament? Torneo. It can also be a soccer tournament. Tournament, okay. Mm -hmm. Very nice, thank you. Thank you for your idea. Okay, we have a couple of minutes before we finish. And with these minutes, we have a practice. Accept or refuse? Okay, so choose an activity invite a partner to go with you. Be ready to say where and when the activity is. Your partner invites you out, either accept the invitation and ask for more information or say you can't go and give an excuse. You can say, okay, that sounds fun. Where is it? When you accept, you can say, thank you for uh, asking me, right? Or thanks so much for the invite. Where is it? Or what time do we meet? But when you refuse or decline the invitation, you say no, but in a polite way. You say, oh, I'm sorry, but I'm busy these days. Oh, can I take a rain check? The expressions that we learned in the activity number one. Do you remember? Do you remember? Yes, 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 miss. Yes. Um, anyways, I'm going to send you the a picture. The meaning of polite um, is como una disculpa. Polite means uh, it's an, a kind way to say something. Es ser amable. Okay. Polite is the opposite of rude. Okay, thank you, teacher. Mm -hmm. Amable, ser amable, amablemente, politely. No rude. Okay, so to practice this, I am going to be the student A. It means I'm going to invite you 